Hello, I am Sujoy and I am back with another exciting calculator tutorial for you. In this video, I will tell you how to do Kramer's rule directly on this Casio Apex 901ES scientific calculator. But not only that, I will also tell you how to solve a system of 3 nil equations directly on the Casio Apex 901ES without doing any calculation. Isn't it cool? So let's start. So our question is, solve the following equations by Kramer's rule. So the equations are 4x plus 2y plus z equals to 13. This equation 1, 3x minus y plus 2z equals to 11. The equation 2, and x plus 3y plus 5z equals to 20. This is equation 3. So let's proceed to the solution. First, we will write the equations in standard linear form, which is given by a1x plus b1y plus c1z equals to d1 for equation 1 and a2x plus b2y plus c2z equals to d2 for equation 2 and a3x plus b3y plus c3z equals to d3 for equation 3. Here the a, b and c are the coefficients for the variables x, y and z and the 1 denote the equation 1, 2 for equation 2, 3 for equation 3. So this is the standard linear form. Next I will tell you the standard matrix form. A system of linear equations can also be written as standard matrix form where the matrix A is obtained by writing all the coefficients from the left hand side of the equation. So that are 4, 2, 1, 3, minus 1, 2 and 1, 3 and 5. 4, 2, 1, 3, minus 1, 2 and 1, 3 and 5. This is matrix A which contains all the coefficients into the matrix of unknowns that is represented by capital X which is X, Y and Z all the unknowns here equals to all the right hand side values they are 13, 11 and 20 13, 11 and 20 which is written by small b or capital B so next arrange for Kramer's rule by Kramer's rule X is equals to determinant of this matrix divided by the determinant of this matrix where the denominator matrix is the original matrix A that is writing all the coefficients you will get the denominator and the numerator for X is given by the B column that is B1, B2, B3 will be same as the denominator also the C column C1, C2, C3 will remain same as in the denominator but the first column that is the X column as you can see here the first column is of x, 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 which will be replaced by the D column. So here, in place of this A1, A2, A3, we will write the D1, D2, D3. Similarly, the Y will be, the denominator will be same for the uh, three matrices. This denominator is equal to this, equal to this. But here in Y, the second column that is the y column here will be replaced by the d column so instead of b1 b2 b3 we we'll write d1 d2 d3 and the a column and the c column will remain same as in the denominator next for z the third column that is the z column here will be replaced by the d column so in place of c1 c2 c3 we we'll write d1 d2 d3 and the A column and the B column will remain same as in the denominator. It is very easy. Let's do the practical. So here we have written the original matrix A which is same for the three denominators X, Y and Z and now for X the column B and column C will remain same only in place of first column that is X column will write the right hand side values. They are 13, 11 and 20. 13, 11 and 20. Similarly in Y, the Y column will be replaced by the 13, 11 and 20 and A column and B column will remain same both in the numerator and denominator. Similarly for Z, 
the third column we replace by the 13 11 and 20 and the a column and b column will remain same both in the denominator and the numerator now we will find out the determinant of this matrix above and we will divide that by the determinant of this matrix below and we will get the value of x so let us do it using the calculator so for that you have to go to the matrix mode of the calculator press mode and 6 for matrix so type in 6 and type 1 for matrix A, 2 for matrix B and 3 for matrix C so we have 3 matrices available on the calculator but as you can see we need 4 matrices 3 unique matrices for 3 numerators and 1 common matrix for the denominator for that the for the fourth matrix will use the matrix variable on the calculator so first uh, let's enter this matrix add matrix A on the calculator for that enter 1 for matrix A again enter 1 for 3 cross 3 matrix and now enter the matrix to enter the matrix first type in the values so here the first value is 4 enter 4 and press the equals to button to enter the cursor will move to the next field and now next value is 2 enter 2 and press equals to and continue the operation and now we will store this matrix into the matrix variable for that press shift 4 and 3 for matrix A and multiply that by 1 so matrix A into 1 is equals to matrix A itself which is now stored in matrix variable we can verify that press shift 4 and 6 for matrix and press equals to so which is the original matrix 4 to 1 3 minus 1 2 and 1 3 5 and now we will enter this matrix as matrix A on the calculator for that press shift 4 2 for data and 1 for matrix A from data option you can change any existing matrix so now basically the column B and column C remain same we have to just replace the column A or first column by 13, 11 and 20 and now we will enter this matrix as matrix B for that press shift 4 2 for data and 2 for matrix B and 1 for 3 cross 3 matrix and now let's enter it press AC to clear screen and now we will enter this matrix as matrix C for that press shift 4 2 for data 3 for matrix C 1 for 3 cross 3 matrix and now to find out the value of x what we will do we will find out the determinant of this matrix and divide that by determinant of this matrix below which is minus 120 that is determinant of this matrix divided by minus 60 which is determinant of this matrix which is equals to 2 so let us do it on the calculator for that press shift 4 7 for determinant and shift 4 3 for matrix A this is our matrix A and press equals to that is equals to minus 120 and this is our matrix answer for that press left press delete shift 4 6 for matrix and press equals to which is minus 60 so minus 120 by minus 60 is plus 2 next for determinant of this matrix we will find out determinant of matrix B press left delete shift 4 5 sorry 4 for matrix B and press equals to 
which is minus 60 and determinant of this matrix is minus 60 which we already know. So minus 60 by minus 60 is plus 1 which is the value of y and for value of z we will find determinant of this matrix which is the matrix C. So press left, delete, shift 4 and 5 for matrix C and press equals to which is minus 180. So minus 180 divided by determinant of this matrix which is minus 60. So z equals to positive 3. You can directly find out the determinants for which you can do determinant of matrix C divided by the determinant of matrix answer and press equals to which is plus 3. You can do the operation in one step. And now as promised I will tell you how to find out the solution of three linear equations directly on this calculator without doing any calculation. For that you have to go to the equation solver mode of this calculator. Press mode and 5 for equation mode and 2 for 3 linear equations. And now we will just enter the coefficients. So we will write 4, 2, 1 and then 13 in the D column. Next 3, minus 1, 2, 11, 1, 3, 5 and 20. Just keep entering the data the cursor will automatically move to the next field and if you want to change any data just navigate to that field type in the new value and press equals to and the old value will be replaced by the new value and now after entering the data just press the equals to button the calculator will give you the value for x which is plus 2 y which is plus 1 and z which is plus 3 isn't it cool so I told you how to solve linear equations by Kramer's rule. Now I will tell you some alternative methods to solve system of linear equations. We can solve the, the system of linear equations by Gauss elimination method, Gauss Jordan elimination method, Gaussian complex scheme, adjoin matrix method, matrix inverse method and so on. I have videos on all of the above methods. You can watch all of my previous videos on solving linear equations. Link to all of my previous videos is given in the video description below. So check them out. And also to find out determinant of a matrix you can follow these methods. First one is the Chios method. Second one is the row reduction method also called the Gauss elimination method. Third one is the cross method and fourth is the standard method. So I have videos on the Chios method and row reduction method already live on YouTube. On cross method, I will upload a video very soon. And also, the standard method I have explained in the adjoint matrix video. So, that's it for now. How was the video? Let me know in the comments below. Your comments really encourages me. So, I will upload more videos for you. So, don't forget to subscribe to YouTube channel. So that when I will upload my next video, you will get an email if you subscribe. And if you like my video or the video has helped you, please like and share the video. That will really encourage me. So thanks for watching, see you in my next video and still then stay connected by subscribing.